Guys, you know my brain is actually hurting. Like, I'm actually hot and my brain is hurting and this is not making sense and it's question one. It's question one. Oh, I don't remember. Why would you choose to do this as your animals? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, as the title, I am going to be scrambling my brains for entertainment, basically. Today I'm going to be attempting to do a GC, not GCC, <laughs> I wish, A-level maths paper, okay? And if you watch my videos, you know damn well I don't do no maths A-level. I do psychology, economics, and sociology. Nothing got to do with maths, okay? Last time I done maths, I was about... 15 years old i'm now 18 so not only do i don't even remember anything i'm going to be doing hardcore a-level maths and a lot of people around me that do a-level maths talk about how stressful it is how difficult it is i always see online a-level maths so hard yada 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 so i was like you know what i'm gonna see what the fuss is about i'm gonna try to do this because in gcse maths i was actually quite good like i got eight for my gcse's all right I got eight all right so I thought, surely it can't be that hard. Like, let me let me just try. Do you know what I mean? I went and printed out a full-on GCSE. Why do people say GCSEs? Like A-level mass paper, the 2019 June paper. First of all, I just want to say, like, why is this paper so thick? Like, if I was to smack someone in the face with this paper, they would actually get knocked out because I don't understand why it's so damn thick. Like, do you know how much paper it took to print this out? My friend that does A-level maths has already said that he don't think I'll be able to do it, but it's like, I think that's a bit bad vibes, you know what I mean? I feel like we should have a bit more faith in the Tanya, and I think I'll be able to do it. So, <laughs> if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and if you do any A-level subjects that you want me to try and do as well for future videos, comment down below, just as long as it's not any of the subjects that I do so not economics, psychology or sociology because like I already do that but yeah without further ado let's get straight into this video guys I've literally had this same Casio calculator since like year seven <laughs> I'm pretty sure math papers like at the start are supposed to be like very easy question one <laughs> I'm already seeing x's and squares and a x squared and all this all right given that x plus three is a factor of fx Find the value of the constant A. Wait, no, this no no no. This seems like something I could answer. Okay. X plus three, oh the brackets as well, is a factor of Fx. Wait, what does factor mean again? It's something it's a factor or something. I think that means that you, you can that is a like you can multiply it by so like five is a factor of twenty-five, no? So some I don't I don't understand like guys I don't understand okay so x plus three is a factor of fx oh and oh okay so it's telling me what fx is up here fx equals three x cubed plus two eight x squared minus four x plus five a wow wait wait guys I was so wrong I know how to do this I know how to do this if fx is a factor of x plus three then I'm gonna say that x plus three equals fx. Think about it. So if x plus three equals fx, then that means that x plus three equals three x cubed plus two a x squared minus four x plus five a. So all you gotta do is rearrange it to find a. Simples. How do you rearrange this? Oh, guys, this is hard. Oh, 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 oh. I think you have to use a quadratic formula. Because if you make everything equal zero, then surely you can use the quadratic formula. I would just like to name why one question has two pages of working out. I'll just, I'll just like, I'm just asking for a friend in it. And the question is only three marks. What's going on here? What's going on? <laughs> okay, we've got to make it equal zero. So what we need to do is we need to put that on that side and put that on the other side. So zero equals three x cubed plus two a x squared minus four x plus five a minus x minus three. <sighs> Guys, you know my brain is actually hurting. Like, I'm actually hot and my brain is hurting and this is not making sense and it's question one. It's question one. So what the hell are we talking about for the rest of the paper then? What happened to like, what happened to the questions where it's like, John went to the cafe and then he bought da da da, like do we not do that in A-levels? No, no stories in A-levels, just serious. We need to factorize it. 2A, yeah, minus, 
wait, wait, minus three. Okay, okay, okay. And then this. Okay, we're gonna try and use the quadratic formula. By the way, if you're a maths A level student and you're watching this, I hope you're working this out with me so that you can tell me what the answer is down below because Carla, I don't print out the math scheme. Minus B plus or minus the square root. Wait, is it even minus B? Minus B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC over 2A. So B, how do I know what's A and what's B? And we'll see. Oh, sugar. Oh, they remember, they remember. Guys, this is hurting my head. Why do, why do people even choose my A level? Quick question. Why would you choose to do this as your A level? Carla, this is literally the answer that the calculator gave me. I don't know if you can see it. This is the answer that the calculator gave me. How, I, I, I just, <laughs> How do, what, what am I supposed to do with that? What does constant mean? Of the constant A, like, it just mean like A, like A all the time. My answer is A equals minus three plus two square root 10 over six. I Stupid. Figure one shows a plot of part of the curve with equation Y equals cos X. I actually know this. No. You know about like cos and sine and tan and the graph the tan graph was like loads of like lines that didn't touch the x-axis oh yeah because cos goes up to one and then it goes down to minus one y equals cos x where x is measured in radians use diagram one to show why the equation cos x minus 2x minus a half equals zero has a one real root giving a reason for your answer what what is what is it talking about like what are we, what are we talking about here like i don't understand this is actually question two and i don't understand why i don't understand any of it so what we're gonna do is going to swiftly move past it next question y equals 5x squared plus 10x over x plus one squared x does not equal minus one Thanks for letting me know. Show that dy over dx equals a over x plus 1n, where a and n are constants to be found. What the hell? What is with this constants? Like, am I supposed to know what that is? Like, what the hell is a con is constants? Guys, I honestly don't know what it's talking about. Okay, so this top bit, what did that have to do with anything? This is really embarrassing because I'm actually incapable of answering any of these questions, guys unfortunately so what we're gonna do is we're gonna expand that like, make it bigger do you know what i mean so 5x squared plus 10x over x plus one squared just means x plus one brackets brackets x plus one brackets that's what it means so we're gonna write it like that <gasps> wait i think i know what i'm doing x plus x if we expand x plus one squared you get x squared plus x plus x plus one and that equals 5x squared plus 10x over then you have to basically solve that you solve it <gasps> wait no you split oh my gosh no wait you put you keep it in the brackets so that it can cancel out oh my days i remember doing this stupid at this point i've already failed the exam <laughs> Clearly, this is GCC maths on steroids. Like, I honestly don't have a clue what is happening here, guys. None of it is making sense. I don't know if maybe I should try the AS paper because my brain it hurts. Like, I don't. I, I was, uh. Let's skip to question seven because I can see that like, writing. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like it might be talking about. Daisy and her cupcakes and stuff. In a simple model, value pound V of a car depends on its age. It's getting interesting talking about cars. It makes sense. Depreciation and that. The value when it's when it's new is 20k. The value after one year is 16k. Depreciation. Using an exponential model to form for car A a possible equation linking V with t okay i felt like i don't know what i don't know what exponential nonsense is talking about but i'm gonna make my own equation for linking the value of a car to the amount of years it's been alive for so when a car is first like made it's like got a lot of value so that means that when t is like a lot like high 
then that means V is high. But when T, oh wait, shoot, no. When T is low, like when it's first been made, so like the amount of years is zero, the value is high. So that means when T is low, V is high. So then as T goes high, so as the years that it's been ar around goes up, the value of it goes down and you times it by two. So let's say two T, two T plus one, because I heard that in maths, if you just plus one, it just makes like everything okay. Like that's the answer. Two T plus one equals V. Bye. Lord God. So guys, that is the end of this video because I, this is actually a very poor attempt and I'm actually very embarrassed because I'm up here like known as this like smart girl that does good in her A-levels and I can't even attempt one maths A-level question. Very, very embarrassing. If you're doing maths A-level, like well done in it because I don't know how you started doing this. Let me know in the comments down below if like you do maths A-level and you were seeing this question you thought it was easy and stuff. Like if you understand what's happening because I don't understand how any brain is supposed to understand what's going on here. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment and subscribe make sure you like and comment subscribe because my head hurts for this video so the least you could do is like and subscribe um and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys <laughs>